Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to customize a chart using free software and load it into your smartphone chart plotter. In the example I used, the local knowledge added to the chart was paramount to keeping our Thailand charter running safely and smoothly. You'll need a few bits of software to make this work. First, you need a program that can import, draw on, and export a large image. There are many free options for this. You'll need map tiler software to turn a large image into small tiled images. You can download this for free. You'll need a file manager for your Android device, of which there are also many free options. Finally, you'll need the SailGrib chart plotting app to display your customized chart, and there's a free version of that as well. There are download links below this video for all the required software. There is one catch. If you don't have an Android phone, the process is probably so different that this video won't be much help to you. If you have any suggestions for solutions that could work for iOS or other platforms, please let me know in the comments. Alright, let's jump in. Before our charter in Thailand, we received two important documents from Sunsail. First there was a PDF of Thailand charts that had been labeled with some stars and a bunch of numbers. The stars, instead of being must-see destinations, were spots where previous charters had run aground. The second was essentially a cruising guide that had more details about the numbered areas of the chart. The cruising guide often had important navigation details about areas to avoid that were not included in the chart. Having gotten the chart, I knew I should figure out a way to load it onto a chart plotter. After examining the custom cruising guide, I decided I should add that information onto the chart as well. First, I needed to add the information to the chart. Any program that allows you to import a PDF, draw on it, and then export an image will do. I started out using the preview program that comes with OSX, then I decided that Photoshop would be more productive. Once you figure out how to draw semi-transparent shapes on the chart, you're good to go. The hardest part was figuring out how to line up no-go locations even though the chart was numbered corresponding to the cruising guide. Having never been to the area, I had to study the text of each section in the cruising guide, the images around that section, and the chart itself to figure out where to mark on the chart as off-limits. While going through the chart, I determined that a few locations on the west coast of Phuket were incorrectly numbered and I corrected them. Once the chart was marked up, you export it as a PNG image. The only restriction is that the free version of MapTiler is limited to 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. Here that works okay and I just crop out the margins of the chart and some open sea that has very little detail. Now you'll need the free version of the MapTiler software. There is a download link provided in the description of this video. Go ahead, download MapTiler. I'll wait. Now start up MapTiler and drag your chart image onto the import interface. First it will ask you to choose a datum. I'm not 100% sure what this all means, and there are so many options, but WGS84 numbered 3395 has always worked for me. Search for that and select it. We'll verify the results later. Now you have to tell MapTiler what latitude and longitude correspond to locations on the chart. I do this by lining up physical locations that show on both the chart and a satellite image. Having just been over the chart in some detail, I have several ideas for points that should work well. The first point I chose to line up was the end of a pier I noticed earlier on the chart. Other good options for points to line up are features that will be clearly and distinctly visible on both the chart and a satellite image. Lighthouses, the end of a breakwater, large rocks, or any small islands all work very well. The side-by-side -side interface makes lining up geographical features straightforward. I chose far more points than were probably necessary. Three is the bare minimum, but I'd go with five or six to be safe. After the third point, MapTile will give you a guess for each additional point that you line up. This guess shows you how well the chart is lined up so far. Next you export the chart. The default settings worked well for me and if you tweak them you might get prompted to buy a license so just leave the defaults and see if you're happy with the results.
Now you need to transfer the .mb tiles file to the right location on your smartphone and load it in SailGrib. If you don't have SailGrib already, there is a link down below in the description to download the free version. For the .mb tiles file, however you normally transfer files to your phone will work. The .mb tiles file need to reside in the SailGrib custom chart directory. The default downloads app on Android can do file management. If your phone manufacturer's flavor of Android doesn't allow that, you may have to download a separate file manager. If you need a file management app, there is a link to a free Android app below this video. To load the chart into SailGrip, open the app and go to Menu, Settings, Charts, and then Offline Charts to display. Your .mb tiles file should be in a list, select it, and then click Load. Once back at SailGrip's main screen, enable Offline Charts in the Map Type dropdown. Ta-da! That's it! Now examine your handiwork. Scroll over to areas of the chart, zoom in, and make sure things line up. One thing I notice is that when you zoom in and the screen redraws, it very quickly flashes the base map before drawing the third-party chart that we just added. In this case, that's really useful for making sure the chart lines up with the underlying map. Here I get to cheat because I'm recording my own screen. This trick works even better in slow motion. The real test, of course, was when we got to Thailand and started using this customized chart to aid navigation. Having a chart customized with local knowledge loaded onto a chart plotter was quite useful in Thailand. I strongly suspect you'll find these tools as useful as I did. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you find this information useful in your future sailing adventures. If you do, let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about navigating using your smartphone, check out SavvySalt.com. We've got a lot of information there about smartphone navigation. See you out there!